Good morning, everybody. Uh, let me go post our, our link over on the website. Website is mammothgardens.com. And uh, I'm going to post, uh, if you go there, mammothgardens.com, uh, there's a, a lovely young lady on the front cover thinking about harmonica. <laughs> Click on her face and she will send it you in here to our daily schedule where we post the schedule and the sheet music. Uh, we have two other pages on that website which you will run into if you read. Um, one is for previous broadcasts, our archive page. We were on lesson number 129 today uh, since August. And um, you can go listen to, you know, you can play harmonic all day long now if you want. And then... Um, uh, the other page on the website is our uh, Harmonica Library, which has all of the public domain sheet music we've worked on posted there, um, ready for you to download. So that's ready to go for you. Let me go uh, tweak this real quick, and then we'll be ready to start. Mon today's Monday. We always do a short uh, how to play harmonica tutorial, and um, uh, you can buckle in and get ready for that. Mammoth gardens.com pops up and then I always add the image it's interesting on the web part of this it only shows one thing but on my app it shows both so I never know what I should really do here uh, but what I've been doing is <laughs> posting the main thing and then the trying to mix it up a little so all right there's the Twitter done um, today we're playing Kumbaya Mr. Bojangles and Scarborough Fair so those are the three songs you want to get ready uh, Pauline and Marsha are already here sound and lighting are good Pauline says she's also Pauline also takes guitar so she by this this point in the morning she's like I just can't listen to him anymore <laughs> Denver's having a beautiful day out Marsha is correct we've got a lovely day let me run through our beginners uh, harmonica lesson really quickly let me pull it up here turn it on and then let me get to the beginning of it it always starts up in this random spot and I will probably some way I can treat fix it where it doesn't do that but I never can never have taken time to figure it out there's page one all right stop whoops turn back on wait turn on turn me off turn it on hit play whoops there it is oh, gosh right, let me go back go back all right um, now, uh, number one, uh, when you are getting ready to play harmonica, number one most important rule, wash your hands. You're going to be sticking your fingers in your face um, when you're playing um, because you're going to be lining up the holes um, on the harmonica and uh, your fingers end up going right in your face. <laughs> so you want to have well, wash your hands, especially if you're teaching little kids how to play. Make them wash their hands before you even get the harmonicas out. Second thing you want to do, you do want to brush your teeth really well before playing anything that's floating around in your mouth is going to end up in the, stuck in the reeds of your harmonica. And so brushing your teeth prior to playing every day, um, right before this class, I run into the other room and brush my teeth again <laughs> to get any last coffee that's in there uh, out of my teeth. That way I don't got to clean it out of my harmonica later on. Next thing, along with that, um, prior to playing, grab a, always have a bottle of water sitting next to you when you're playing. I have a, a, a metal water bottle that sits next to me when I play. Uh, I use that to stay hydrated. It makes playing a lot easier if your lips are wet and your inner mouth is wet because you're going to be using all that to make sound. And uh, the, the first thing I do with um, a sip of water is uh, swish it around my mouth and, again, uh, just get any uh, thing that's floating around in your teeth out. Um, next up, so those are preparatory issues. Um, when you're ready to play, don't sit like this cat. Sit with good posture, nice straight up and down. You want your neck and spine all to be aligned. You want to be facing forward. Uh, all of that stuff's going to uh, matter because you're going to need to open up your lungs and you're going to be breathing from your uh, getting air in and out of your lungs and so the better posture you have the easier it will be and the better your tone is going to be you're going to breathe from your belly on draws or inhales your belly is going to go out and on blows um, or exhales your belly is going to come in 
and um, you'll be blowing, blowing through various holes on your harmonica, um, remembering always to be thinking, I'm breathing from my belly. Don't breathe from your lungs. Don't breathe from your neck. Um, those are places that we typically breathe in our daily lives, and uh, you want to, we're going to try to get you better. <laughs> we're trying to make your body stronger, your breathing apparatus better, and the way to do that is just focus in on breathing out from your belly and then in from your belly. Um, think of blowing and drawing on the harmonica as inhaling and exhaling. Um, we're trying not to do it, blow real super hard or real super fast or any of that sort of thing. Just inhaling and exhaling. That's what you're going to be doing. Sometimes you have a whole lot of inhales in a row and then you feel like you're going to pop. Uh, but uh, that's our plan. To get a single note, um, when you blow harmonic through a harmonica, you can blow through multiple holes and you get a chord. But to play melody, you have to blow through a single hole. And the way we do that, at least in the beginning, is puckering up, making a nice round uh, circle with your lips, picking the hole you want to use. I'm going to pick hole number four. And you get that sound out. To breathe in, you get a little bit higher pitch or a little different pitch. Some holes are in reverse order. It just changes your pitch a little bit, blowing out and blowing. A harmonica is a little bit unique in that we make music blowing and drawing sound through it. Um, whereas most instruments you just blow into. So in the beginning, at least, your puckering is going to be one of those incre incredibly important things that you're going to have to do to get sound coming out of just one hole at a time. Uh, inside of your mouth, you've got some muscles, um, and you're going to be, you know, I call them your kissing muscles, right? Not your embouchure of uh, what's going on inside of your mouth. That's going to help you to, if you tighten it up and raise your tongue up, You'll get one sound, and then if you loosen them and drop your tongue, it'll bend the note. And so you're going to be using um, your inner kissing muscles uh, to create more well-rounded sounds with your harmonica. It also helps uh, in just getting air through the single hole. Um, next thought is between every note, you want to say two, 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 your tongue is hitting the roof of your mouth, two, 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 also on breathing in, that stops the previous notes and gets you ready to start your next note, and so between every note, eventually you'll make choices between whether uh, you need to use a two every time, um, and sometimes those choices will be good or bad, but in the beginning at least, tra train yourself to say two between every note. Holding the harmonica, fairly straightforward process. Your index finger is on top of the harmonica and your thumb is underneath the harmonica. Your knuckle should be over hole number four. Thank you, Cat, for teaching us that little, little trick. And then your right hand is held behind the harmonica and you're going to open and close that to make a wah-wah effect. Just creates that a little vibrato there and it's, it's lovely. Um, remember to move your hands and not your face. Don't be moving your face back and forth against the harmonica. Move your harmonica back and forth against your face. And then next up, on the tablet or on the sheet music, you'll have a harmonica line. A four by itself means blow into hole number four. If it has a minus sign in front of it, you draw through hole number four. And then on the chromatic sheet music, you'll if there's a star on it, that means you'll hold the button down while you're blowing or hold the button down while you're drawing. And uh, that's what the little star represents is to hold, push the button in. Um, on your sheet music, all of your sheet music is set up the same way. Uh, there's chords on there. Those are useful for guitar players, uh, harmonic, or guitar players, ukulele players, piano players. They can take advantage of the chords. If you can ever play with somebody else, try to do that. You'll sound amazing. Uh, standard notation generally is set up to help you know how long to hold a note. Uh, the other thing it's useful for, singers need that um, so they, they know what pitch to be hitting with their voice. The underneath that, the lyrics of each song uh, will be show up. Underneath that, the harmonica tablature is there. And again, on this example here from Danny Boy, um, you're going to blow a seven, and then you're going to need a chromatic harmonica on this one because of the star, and you're going to draw six, draw six with the button pushed in, and then the next note, you're going to blow six, 
um, then you draw a five and draw iota through hole number four. Um, and those of you, this came up initially, most of we don't talk about it anymore, but har chromatic harmonica and harmonica, diatonic harmonica, are different instruments. You can't um, change them out freely. The sheet music is set up for one or the other. Uh, ukulele tablature underneath that and guitar tablature underneath that, and that's for those guys. And if I then call that stop and I return to myself to the screen whoops there I go get rid of that and that's our weekly uh, Monday morning harmonica lesson <laughs> all right let's keep going on some songs today um, your first song of the day will be whoops did I make myself go away there I am uh, this is first song today is Kumbaya as it is every Monday we meet uh, we have five songs we play every single week um, and the idea is those are the easier songs. One, they're useful for warming up your harmonica. But two, hopefully you're getting the message that, hey, somebody in my life is going to um, think it's a hoot to learn how to play harmonica. You give them these five songs, uh, of which Kumbaya is the first one, and um, suddenly they're playing harmonica, and they will love you forever. I keep staring at this list of songs going, why don't I see Kumbaya on there? And I'm in the wrong folder. That's why. <laughs> All right, H I J K, J K, Kumbaya. Here we go. All right. Um, hopefully, I can play it without the sheet music, but I like it. It's a nice. It's a. It feels like a nice crutch, doesn't it? Who else wandered in today? Marianne is here from Parker. What are you doing here? Good to see you, Marianne. Um, I, have a, I know he is. I have a chance to join you today. Very excited to have you, Marianne. Uh, Sandy in from Upper Michigan. Sunshine and 40 degrees. Oh, but windy. Oh, that's a bummer. Diane is in. She's in from Colorado. Let's have a let's let's have a super week. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Diane. Patricia is here and Don. They're both Coloradans as well. Good to see you guys. Hey, um, on Friday we're gonna take Friday off, and so um, I have not. So we'll see how the week progresses. But on Thursday you want to be here. We're gonna do Peter Cottontail. Um, we're not doing it until Thursday and maybe late on Thursday. <laughs> it is such an earworm. Uh, you're going to hate me for it. Uh, but uh, I'll make sure you have Peter Cottontail ready for uh, this weekend. And I'm going to take, Donna was able to get Friday off. So we're we're taking the day off. We're going to get the bikes up and running and go for a bike ride, I think, if the weather holds. So uh, let's play Kumbaya. Two beat count in, blow four, and let's just do two times through. Um, remember, you play 15 the first time through and skip 15 second time through. One, two. Guys, one of the things I've been paying attention to after our discussion about bending notes that we started last week is really focusing on in on my tongue. Um, it's 
as I move my tongue around and out, the, the harmonic is making all sorts of adjustments for that airflow around my tongue. And so that's one way to start messing around. If you were unsuccessful last week with bending the note at all, uh, start with just moving your tongue around in your mouth while you're in dr in drawing the note. And uh, you'll find it starting to make a different, different tones. Um, let's go grab your scales, diatonic scales this morning. Notes in C, um, and uh, let's play the C major scale. We play this every single day, two times through. Um, again, your goal with this is play it through straight one time, and then maybe the second time through, try on those draws to bend the note just a little bit, um, or to get a little bit different flavoring to it, a little bit, uh, and just begin that process of talking your mouth into tightening up those muscles and then releasing those muscles so that you get that bended sound from the top. One, two, three, four. did that one a little bit um, um, and then take just a moment to meow it tight loose tongue high tongue low maybe we'll work on that every day we'll start adding in a meow section I'm going to write that on here. I'm going to add a meow section. <laughs> we'll probably start doing meows. Oh, let's do them right before we do. We'll do a meow every day. All right, we'll start adding in a few meows. <laughs> I can't do it particularly well, but uh, but you see the you see the idea and the appeal of it probably. Let's play the A minor scale. Let's warm up the top end of our harmonica. One, two, three, four. Bending notes up on the higher end of the harmonica, as everything is up on the higher end of the harmonica, much harder to do up there than it is down below. It's where blues harmonica comes in, is these bending these real low notes on a harmonica, and it's why every harmonica song uh, in the blues world ends up sounding the same to me, is there's all that bending low, low chords down there. It can be a fun, very fun thing to learn how to do. I should probably try to do more than that, but it's perfectly lovely. Let's go grab Mr. Bojangles. Um, most of you guys will remember Mr. Bojangles um, probably needs some um, accompaniment to get the timing right. Um, so uh, we will play it without accompaniment today. And then on Friday, I will play the chords and you will um, you'll play the melody. <laughs> I'll grab a harmonic or a, a guitar or a ukulele or something. I'll play some chords and you'll you'll feel it uh, and... Uh, but when we learn the melody, we have to count the notes. I knew a man, Bojangles, and he danced for you. Four, one, two, one, two. In worn out shoes, two, one, two. 
with silver hair and ragged shirt and baggy pants. One, two, one, two. The old soft shoe. Two, three, four. One, two, three. He jumped so high. Jump so high. Then he kindly let touch down three. One, two, one, two. Mr. Bo jangles. One, two, one, two. Mr. Bo jangles. One, two, one, two. Mr. Bo jangles. One, two, dance. Two, one, two. So it's a little hard to get the rhythm right. I find that, the, and, and when I listen to the, um, I think it's Jeff Walker. Was it Jerry Walker or Jeff? Jerry Jeff Walker. That's one guy. When I heard him sing it, he also has the rhythm all crazy. So, so we get it close. This is a hard ensemble experience without um, somebody playing the chords, and we'll see it. Uh, we'll see. We'll see it right now. How difficult it is. Let's play it through. Uh, let's just do it. Um, how long is it? Yeah, let's do it uh, two times through. That should be plenty. Um, blow three. We'll count in two. Blow three. Try to go unreasonably slow. Let those moments, um, right now, just feel the length of those notes, those long notes. Do the best you can. And then uh, we'll know on Friday, um, not Friday, Thursday. <laughs> Thank you, Marsha. On Thursday, we will um, uh, bring in a, a, a more of an ensemble experience. From the top, two beat count in, two times through. One Two. hard to play the notes are not hard getting the timing right is very hard and uh, one of the things you can do go grab the mp3 off of the website maybe I'll front maybe Thursday maybe that'll make some sense I'll play the mp3 uh, and we can play along to that and you'll see how um, when you get the, the the beat correct this song all of a sudden just magically comes together um, and um, 
you know, so so we'll probably uh, mess around with that. I don't know if we've ever actually done that, played to the MP3 in here before. And it, it, probably a, a healthy thing to try from time to time is to play along to those MP3s. It's hard. <laughs> All right, so there's Mr. Bojangles. Um, diatonic players, you're set for the day. Have a wonderful day, um, and I will see all of you uh, tomorrow. Remember, third, Friday we have the, the day off. Um, the rest of you guys, with your chromatics, let's pull those up. Let's get through that. Um, um, today is Monday, so we're going to grab our chromatic scales, and we're going to do the first one on the list. Chromatic, 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 chromatic. I will learn how to alphabetize one of these days. It'll make things go much more smoothly. Um, all right, so Monday we'll play the top one, Tuesday the second one, Wednesday the third one, and Thursday the fourth one. And uh, then we will have gotten, last week I think we only got in one or two. I don't remember. Oh, because we had sound problems last week. All right, measure one, only measure one, play to the end and come back and play it a second time. Two times through, C major scale. One, two, three. One of the problems with playing from sheet music is when you get lost in the sheet music, you heard me, I was fishing around for every note, um, rather than just letting the sheet music go, closing my eyes and just knowing where the notes are on here, I was trying to fight my way through the paperwork. And so um, that's what you, that's another thing you don't want to do is let the paper paperwork run you. Uh, if you know how to play something, you know, let the, let the sheet music be advice. All right. And then finally today, um, zipping through today. Um, which is fine, right? After last Friday, we, it seemed like I walked away from that. It feels like my lungs still hurt from Friday. <laughs> um, we, uh, um, we're, we, I like the weekday classes to be a little bit shorter so that you have a little bit of time to your uh, to yourself at the end of class to play through, you know, to just play through your book a little bit. And... Um, um, yeah, that's what I like you to do, right? Because you're probably, it's hard to find time to play harmonica the rest of the day. So this little hour here gives you a chance to play a little bit on your own as well. Lots of changes on this uh, Scarborough Fair. Not changes necessary, but clarifications. One of the things I'm going to do in the middle of measure nine, um, I put, I'm going to add a rest on there. Um, because that it, it's too long for five beats. Four beats plus a rest make more sense. Um, rosemary and thyme, re remember me. So there needs to be a rest in the middle of measure nine. If it, you'll you'll probably end up resting anyway. <laughs> it's just too long. Uh, measure thirteen should have four beats. I don't know why I didn't post that initially. I always do four beats in measure thirteen because Simon and Garfunkel did four beats in measure thirteen. Um, and then. Um, uh, at measure 17, I'm going to add on just an extra measure there. That feels like too fast of a turnaround to go right back up to the top. So I think I'm going to add a me add another measure in after 17, but before 18, um, where um, we pull um, a true love of mine. Rest. Are you going? So I'm probably going to add in um, a five beat note there on 17 with a rest leading back up to the top. Um, uh, three on the second. Three on the second. Um, da, 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 da. All right.
right, so that's that's my plan anyway. Um, all right. Hopefully that some of that made sense. Did any of that make sense? Mostly it made sense. All right, let's give it a try. We haven't played it in a while. One, two, three. Twelve and eleven. Yeah, seven's good. All right, let me erase that note. All right, beautiful. He went was a true love of mine. Bing. All right, good. All right, um, lovely. Not right. That's a nice song, <laughs> Monica. Really nice. I think what I'll do if I have time today um, or tomorrow, I will. Um, clean up my piece of sheet music and repost it and you'll know because i'll write update it on the front page of the website um and uh if i can remember think 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 to do that today i'll try to get that cleaned up for you just a little bit and um yeah uh let's see what else do i want to tell you uh tuesday and wednesday will be normal um so we have um Moon River and Smile tomorrow, which is lovely. That's a good day of music, right? Morning has broken and smoke gets in your eye on Wednesday. Uh, and then uh, on Thursday, we'll add in Peter Cottontail. We'll play all of the songs from the week. When the Saints Go March Again, You Are My Sunshine, Peter Cottontail. So plan on Thursday being your con uh, Kick Your Fanny Friday, right? That'll be the day uh, when we play our concert on Thursday, so it'll be a little bit shorter concert, which is fine because we've been killing our killing our <laughs> these Friday concerts. And uh, I'd say honestly, um, that, that's a good group of songs for Thursday. So hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Hope spring is starting to settle into your soul. I got my first shot on uh, Saturday. My arm is still a little sore. I was super sore yesterday, and then I didn't feel very good yesterday either, but I feel okay today. A little bit of a lingering headache and a, it's kind of a sore arm. It's going to work itself out today, I feel like, but uh, uh, remember, get get your vaccine as soon as you can, and I will, and then obviously, right, you've got another 20 minutes till the top of the hour, so spend some time with your harmonica. Um, bending notes uh, once you learn how to bend notes you will be instantly become a better harmonica player in the sense that you'll be mindful of the tones coming out of your uh, harmonica more than just blowing a six you will be blowing a meaningful six or drawing a meaningful four so mess around with bending um i don't know any other way to describe it other than tightening up your inner kissing muscles and then letting them go um, and your tongue starts at the kind of up above and drops a little bit um and that's how those notes go meow and that's what what we're working on uh for those of you who've been around a while if you're newer don't worry about that at all just try to get the songs out that's what you're working on so all right patricia good to 
Lucia, Pauline, thanks for being here. Sandy, you take care. Uh, who else I see was here? Donna, uh, Donna, Don. <laughs> I'm married to Donna. Donna, Don and I are just buds. Uh, Diane, Marianne, good to see you. And Marsha, good to have you here. Um, all right, I'm going to pull the plug um, and I will see all of you um, either tomorrow or later today for ukulele. Off you go. Mm-hmm. <laughs>